What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer and everything's back to normal. Sorry for the shitpost, but you gotta do something weird on April Fools. Um Someone in the comments recently asked for a warrior run. They said they haven't seen me do one. And I've tried to do some warrior runs as of late, but they always get interrupted by something like crazy, like a net legendary showing up. So let's let's get ourselves started here with a, another potential warrior run. Non-committal, of course. But like I am interested in doing a warrior run. Also, I want to show you guys something uh, interesting uh, when I get further into this run. I'll, I'll point it out when the time comes. I don't think there's any way for me to show it off right now. Yeah, there's no way for me to show it off right now. I think I have it uh, turned on. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but I have like a, a mod, a new mod. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have it on. Um, yeah, we have a, I have a mod now. Uh, m recently released by Mr. Bakanudo that shows you the true cooldown uh, instead of it being a false cooldown. Um, because the thing about it is, is um, <laughs> the cooldown in Skull the Hero Slayer obviously is not like an actual concrete number. Balanced Skulls, for instance, which Hunter is, have inherent built-in um, cooldown. So like the number you see here, or I guess it... Now, let me swap to Warrior and see if that changes it. Yeah, okay. So whenever I'm out as um, a balanced skull, I guess it affects it across the entire both skulls. But um, as you see here, uh, this right here says 10 second cooldown. But whenever we're out as Hunter, you actually don't have a 10 second cooldown because of the inherent built in uh, cooldown reduction on uh, balanced skulls. So it's always been a false number that it shows you. It's never been actually 10. It's always been 6.3 flat even with no additional items as long as you have your um as long as you have your witch tree filled out so mr bakunudo made a mod that shows like um your true cooldown on all things and that includes uh quintessences as well um instead of the false number that the game like tells you that it is so it's like a nice quality of life mod that he made that doesn't change the gameplay in any meaningful way it just tells you the actual true numbers so I'm going to have that on from now on moving forward. I just wanted to let you guys know because uh, I'm, I'm sure people will ask in the future, like, why do you why are your cooldowns colored and what does it mean? But I just wanted to get it out of the way and address it now while we're uh, while we're at the beginning of this run. And I'll, of course, answer it in the future if anyone's curious. But this is like a newly released mod. If you're on PC, uh, you can go download that from the Thunder Store. Of course, as always, the GOAT Bakunudo coming in with all the best additions. Um, but, um, yeah, it's just a nice little quality of life mod that he made that I'm very, uh, I'm very happy to have. <laughs> it's like the thing I never knew I needed. Uh, all this time, I honestly thought that, um, like, all the, uh, um, cooldowns that you see when you have a balance call out, all those numbers there, I thought they were real, but they're actually not. It's false numbers. They're lying to you. At least when you're out as a balance skull. Uh, when you're out as a power skull, it doesn't matter. Or a speed skull. But, um, and, like, if you get mana cycle, also that number is lying to you. But that one's obvious, you know. we all, Like, it's really obvious um, that, like, if you have a, a mana cycle or something like that, like, the number that it tells you isn't going to be real. But, like, it's easy to forget about the witch tree, or the, yeah, the witch tree reduction that you get. Like, it's nothing I ever considered. Um, but, yeah, it's an interesting little thing. Very nice uh, quality. In fact, I don't know. That's like the kind of thing that should just be in the game. It'd be cool if they ever like took something that a fan made and put it into their uh, actual game. Because something like that just makes sense to me. It also shows if you have higher cooldowns as well. Like the number will be uh, red if you have a cooldown increase. Anyways, uh, it looks like we're low rolling our doors, which I hate. But it's not the end of the world. It's just annoying. And it's like a bad way to start a run. But it should be okay. Guess I'm going to the legendary. Torn Voodoo Doll. Yikes. It's not like terrible, but it's not what I wanted. It's by treasure on the pedestal. Now I don't have enough to buy the Sword of Subconscious. That's what I wanted, but I'll just do that. And also, gacha gaming here just kind of always makes sense, even though I don't have enough money. Well, that's on me then. I could have gotten a cheaper item for uh, for what I bought. It's not a big deal or anything, but 
you always make money if you gotcha game in the uh, first shop, at least from the random box. Like, uh, inscription boxes, you don't always make money, but random box, you do, so. It's like a min-max that I have to keep in mind moving forward. Hiya! Get fucked. I really like a uh, warrior swap. It's like the most simple swap in the game. Like, at least basic warrior is simple. Um, later on, the swap uh, increases his concentration speed. But for now, it's literally just like a an AOE attack. And I'm always going on about the significance and power of um, <clears throat> of like AOE uh, Act One swappers. Like Minotaur's a great Act One swapper. Hunter, as always, is an inf incredible, fantastic swapper. Uh, Warrior 2, there's so many of them. Werewolf, all A-tier early swappers. Um, I'm going to take the Steel Golem there. A lot of people dog on Steel Golem and say it's not good. And it's not like it's incredible or anything. But, like, it's way better than people give it credit for. Because it's, it's just a nice, quick AoE damage attack that you can just do whenever you want. Like, I always talk about how you should look at quintessences as um, third skills, which I don't think is more true with anything than it is with something like Steel Golem. What was hitting you there? I guess there was fireballs there. I didn't notice them. Who knows? You guys probably know. You guys probably uh, saw it, and my dumbass just didn't. Hi. Oh man, really? That would have like wiped out everyone. Oh, Rockstar. Oh, sorry for bumping my mic there. Uh, let's get rid of the Hunter for the Rockstar. Cause like I said, I want to make this uh, Warrior run happen. <laughs> but every time, every freaking time I play Warrior, um, I get like an interesting skull that pushes me in like the opposite direction that a warrior run normally would go, which kind of is what Rockstar is. Like, I could definitely do a Rockstar warrior run. It just would be weird, but not impossible and maybe even potentially good. All I know is we got my favorite, um, my favorite Rockstar skill. I think it's Climax, right? Yeah, Climax. This is a really good Rockstar skill. I actually think Rockstar is probably the best stun skull in the entire game. Like, he's definitely in competition with um, with Hunter and, and Minotaur. But, like, his swap and climax are stuns. And they're very, very, very powerful stuns at that. All right, give me something cool. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's kind of looking like I'm not going to be... Whole now I wish I had the Hunter, though. Uh, man. I wish I had the Hunter. Oh, wait, that's a judgment. Or justice served, I mean. Excuse me. Justice served is good. I see people always complain about it. Like, I have, like, uh, people in my audience who say it's, like, one of the worst items in the game. But, like, just simply not true. It's actually a pretty good stun item. Um, just, like, a guaranteed stun every once in a while. There's nothing wrong with that. You can't go wrong with it. Stun is all about consistency. Most of your stun is going to come from items and quints, though. I mean, uh, skulls and quints. Like, there's nothing wrong with having an item that stuns. Can't really go wrong with it. Like, see that shit? That just blew everyone up. Trash. This is okay, though, because it gives me revenge. Like, having, um... Having... Um... Torn Voodoo Doll and Haystone together is really nice, because they both have the same inscriptions. And, uh, it's like... A nice, easy way to hold on to revenge for an entire run if you want to do that. Because it's like, Haystone, for a common especially, is like really strong. It's actually shocking how powerful um, Haystone is for a common. Alright, what do you got, sir? No dupe, but I'll take the bone shards regardless. I don't think I'm going to commit to this warrior. <laughs> oh, man. I just wish I had the Hunter still. I could make a killer stun run with these two. What a shame. We are not that far removed from a stun run, but like, if the game's going to offer me stun, I'm taking it.
Hi ah. Wouldn't mind having magic beads of darkness. I'm swapping a lot as it stands. Would really like an armor of fear. It's a little slow going here, but like we might be able to prevent an ult in, in phase two just from stunning him all the time. It's like we are stunning him constantly. It's like, even though I'm not doing a lot of damage, I don't think it matters just because he's getting stunned all the time. What even hit me there? My nose itches. No, I think we're going to get an ult here, sad. Oh! Nah, okay. <laughs> Never mind. I wasn't paying attention to the passive. I don't think we're getting an ult here. Huh! Loser. Out of my face. Give me something cool, please. I take back all the mean things I said if you give me something cool. Alright, never mind. Fuck you. I got all the smoke. All the mean things. Um, World Tree Seed, I guess. Even though it, like, didn't even proc the first tier with that heal. Should have min-maxed for it, but I also didn't want to take a World Tree Seed. There's a good chance I don't see this through. I guess we'll just take old reliable or I'm just going to take this, I think, and pass on anything else because I'd like to keep my slots open. Cuz like what if I see finger flick? Uh yeah, a skull room. I don't know what I'm thinking about. It's like when I get an act 2, it's all about the skull rooms. What the hell else matters? Nothing. I mean, items are important too, but. We already got a decent amount of bone shards. Yes. No. Give me my hunter back, man. Give me my hunter back. Come back to me, hunter. I apologize. It was a mistake. I need you. Also, we're getting all the ability swappers out of the way, which is both good and bad because of, uh, like, what if we get our hunter back and he has seed shot? That'd, pr that'd suck. I'd be pissed about that. I got rid of my perfectly good multi-shot hunter for a seed shot hunter. Garbage. Trash. Is this the shop? Man, we're low rolling. I hate low rolling. Purple flurp is always nice. Um, what did I end up getting on the? Oh yeah, it was a uh, warrior soul mace. Give me something cool. This is not what I'm looking for. Solar sword will do just fine. Bye. It was nice knowing you. Kinda, not really. In fact, I'm glad you're gone. beautiful this is the kind of run where i really need some gold percent gain because um the low rolling of the doors is going to end up pretty bad for me wait do we have arms oh my god we do arms 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 <laughs> i'll give him some money here thanks for nothing and he stole i think like six gold for me Maybe I got two gold. I can't remember if he... He probably asked. Ooh. Hmm. No, you know what? No, 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 no. Like, I got a few loves on this run. I don't think Predator is one of them. Like, we're so far removed from the Warrior run. Like, if I'm going to pivot to a skull that doesn't have stun synergy, I might as well just keep the oh man i might as well just keep the um the warrior at that point and just like see if i can get this warrior run interesting but i am looking to pivot if i can just find some uh, stun synergy 
Would have been so nice if I had my Rockstar passive here. I'm such a fucking... I'm so bad at using the Rockstar passive. It's like my Achilles heel in this fucking game. Not that it matters. I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't really hold on to stuff exclusively for boss fights. Like, uh... I'm always talking about um, using your... Um, let me focus for a second. I'm always talking about using your full moon slash. Um, okay, you know what? He can just ult. Use your full moon slashes in rooms. Don't don't exclusively hold them for bosses, because then you're just missing out on um, on single slashes, which are very powerful. Like single slashes are nothing to scoff at. They deal good damage. Beautiful. Give me your legendaries, please. Especially you. I'd love to have yours. Nope. Well, good talk. No need for dwarf. It's a little late for dwarf farming. Not really. I could do it, but I don't really want to. All these bone shards have nothing to do with them. A one sentence horror story. By me, Haxor. Aw, oh, man. Well, I guess we're waiting to freaking deal with you. At least I can hit him up into the ceiling down here with my warrior move. Not that I needed to. Hunter. Okay. Minotaur, too. I should also be asking for Minotaur. But he's got to have Bludgeon. Even though Minotaur has passive stun. He's one of the only skulls in the game that has passive stun. But still, you want Bludgeon. Man, I hate these enemies. Any truers? It's like, they're not even hard. They're just annoying. Even this guy with his, like, dumbass Dark Elite shit. Like, I don't care. You're not strong. You're just bothersome you're annoying take this all right we got a decent amount of money for this shop what's on the clone stamp brawl that's a pretty good clone stamp certainly better than this right here i'll take it easy access brawl don't mind if i do this is also a good item kind of it's not really what I'm looking for. New. No. New. No. We are out of money. Oh, Medusa! Ooh, that would have sucked to miss. Aw, oh, man. Now we're really set, guys. One of my favorite combos in the game. Medusa with Warrior Seal Miss. It's so good. Man, Medusa is so, such a good quint. I hope I've at least shown some people out there the power of medusa i actually these days i talked about this a while back but it's it bears mentioning again you know there's a lot of talk about succubus you know everyone loves succubus they're like oh man that's my favorite defensive quint i i'm a medusa stan i think medusa is the best defensive quint in the game aside from slime i guess but like <gasps> no no i'm spawning him in it's the same thing I got the hunter. I was just too fucking quick. Okay, he's piercing shot. God damn it. <laughs> That's what I get for entering a room and leaving it too quickly. But, like, this is the same thing as if I had just grabbed the hunter. Um, just making up for my idiocy. Because, like, the warrior is also a rare worth the same amount of bone shards. But now we actually are on a well and proper stun run with two of my favorite stun skulls in the game. So Now that's a reason to be happy. And we can instantly upgrade him to legendary? Good lord. I'm on cloud nine. And you guys can say hacks a moment in the comments if you want. It, it I mean, it's, it's a fair hacks a moment. Can't deny that. My dumbass is too, too fucking autopilot sometimes. Just sucks we don't have the, the stun traps for the Leona sisters fight, but we'll be okay. This should be nice and simple. I think.
I hope. What's my damage? My damage probably is pretty freaking low. No, that's actually... <laughs> that is good damage. Oh my god. <laughs> How many stuns was that? Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want my Rockstar to pop off just yet, so let's swap. Only I had multi-shot, man. That's what I get for ditching my hunter at the start. And she just can't move, huh? Boom! Perma stun. I do wanna, this is like a the kind of uh, lay on a fight where I should ride the merry-go-round. Something I haven't been doing as much lately. But it, it is important sometimes. And uh, I think this is a, a lay on sisters fight where it, it would mean something. So let's be careful here. We don't have passive damage like a uh, Fulgent Dawn. So we don't gotta worry about that. Get her low and then we can just leave her alone. We don't have passive damage, right? No, we don't. Justice serves only procs if you attack. Yeah, okay. We're gonna leave her there. Now we want the long hair sister. No! Oh! Oh no. <laughs> Gulp! I think we're gonna be okay, but that's. Like, how did I not know better? I know. I, like, I know better. I'm a fucking maroon. Alright, you're caught in my trap. Take that, 58 damage. What are you gonna do now? Ow, ow, ow! Okay, thank God for revenge. I got juggled there. I'm trying to stay in spoils so I can keep the spoils buffs, which is not something, that's like a, a level of min-maxing I almost never do. Ow. I mean, we're fine. We're completely chilling. In part, if not in full, thanks to the power of... Oh, no, I'm not chill. Okay, hang on. Now I'm chill. Jesus Christ, I almost threw that. That's what I get for letting my guard down and relying too much on revenge. Absolute bozo moment. All right, what do we got? Still no good stun stuff. There's some brawl. Also a freaking approaching death, which is unfortunate because we're definitely not doing that. No need for crit, so no need for that. All the legendaries here are kind of garbage. So let's just break a legendary. Because we are low rolling our doors. We would benefit to have extra money for this upcoming shop. Oh man, you're going to show me cat eyes on a run where I don't need it whack bro absolutely whack uh it's, there's still nothing popping out to me here could take a weakness exposure but that's not actually it's good on hunter if we can get the right skill pretty good on rockstar but uh, you know what i'm 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 feeling crazy i'm gonna float here i'm really looking for something good here. i could have taken relapse i guess but relapse isn't that good on uh Unstun. Not bad. Let's get this uh this hunter upgraded before we upgrade our rock star. Seed shot. God. Grody. Just show me an ability swapper, please. They're gonna hate seed shot. God, that delay is insane. You know what the my biggest issue here comes the seed shot, right? Here it comes. The problem with seed shot is the delay that happens when you cast here. If I swap here, these arrows don't fall. It eats your it eats your animation. That's the first problem with Seed Shot of many, but that's my biggest problem with Seed Shot. 
No ability in the game should do that to you. It's ridiculous. And now these things can't even get hit down here. Because it gets blocked by platforms. There's so many problems with Seed Shot. Drives me crazy. This is a good Seed Shot map, though, kind of. Oh, no, it is a good Seed Shot map. It, it rains through the platform. Okay, yeah. I'll give Seed Shot credit where it needs it, or where it's due, I suppose. That's fair. Fair point to Seed Shot. There's no wall above you, and it's just a platform. And look, we're already at the shop. Low rolling the doors, I'm telling you, not even once, man. Not even once. Good job, Seed Shot. You really did something there. I'm telling you, I could complain endlessly about Seed Shot. But I won't. But I could. I have to buy food here. Gold percent gain, please. This is good. Wouldn't mind having something like this. Let's get rid of this. What's in here? Neurolepsis? No. Um, fuck, man. Getting screwed on the bone, or in the, uh, on the, uh, items front. Something up there got torn to pieces. I think it was the slime, yeah. Hey, if an enemy's big, Seed Shot can't miss. Or I guess it can, but it's a lot less likely to miss. <laughs> Wait, okay, my man's floating in the air. That's just straight up cheating, dude. He deflected the Seed Shot arrow and was just like, eh, I'm staying up here. This is my cheat code. It's called the devs didn't account for this. Alright, beautiful. Kind of. We need concentration speed. My concentration feels very slow. I don't like it. This is like a room. Does he try even function in here? It does. Beautiful, man. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. I think that guy, the golem over there, is going to be shooting missiles at me. Yes, he is. Seed shot for the love of God. Oh, no. I hate this. I hate this. Stop. Stop. I think I stopped that one. Oh, no, I was facing the wrong way, but it's fine. Man, that was <laughs> truly awful. But it's it's my own fault. Doesn't make it hurt any less, but I can only blame myself for that. All right, take this. Surely Seed Shot can't miss in a big room like this. Or, I mean, a small room like this. A square box? How could Seed Shot miss in a square box? Unaware. Let's deal with her first. I don't care about him ulting. He can just ult for all I care. She ulted. Okay, that I don't like. Oh, boy. We do have a torn voodoo doll. It wouldn't be the end of the world for us to lose it here. I... <laughs> I just... Where's my multi-shot, man? I had it, and then I lost it. Bozo move, man. But, like, I couldn't have known we were going to be on a stun run. But still, it, it's painful. It hurts. Pretty garbage rewards across the board. Our rock star is not there yet to legendary, but he will be soon. Hopefully.
Yeah, I don't like really either of these moves very much. Like, single shot's fine, or piercing shot. It's not, like, terrible. But, um... I would rather have, um... Uh, actually, is this piercing shot? Yeah, it is. I, what's the uh, the one where he fires like the Gatling gun? I don't I don't remember what that one's called. Really, the only hunter move I truly love is uh is multi shot. But like most of his moves are like usable. The only one that really isn't is fucking siege shot. I can use siege shot to cheese here, but like it's not really necessary. And also, these guys are undamaged. Hello, how many? piercing or uh seed shots did i fire in this map a lot <laughs> they must have spawned underneath them all right this is another room where i have to be careful with my um with my piercing shot because like there's a uh uh summoning group uh, like uh, the guys who will summon the ultimate golem are standing over there, and they will get hit by uh, wrongly timed. Oh no! Plate armor. Ugh. Disgusting. No. There. I almost charged it there. Wait, what? Why didn't he stop? I stunned him like twice. <laughs> Okay, they're not summoning over there, which is good. Oh yeah, see, there's an example of it eating my animation. Uh, I casted it, but I swapped too soon, and Seed Shot didn't uh, go off. Truly awful, truly the worst. Okay, this is bad, actually. All right, beautiful. They almost got it, but not quite. What isn't beautiful is my gold percent. We're so poor. Bone pouch, yes. Maybe that wasn't worth it because we are very desperate for better items. Come on, dog. God. It's my own fault for buying the bone pouch, I suppose, but... Okay, this is bad. Okay, <laughs> he blew up his own friend. Oh, I thought they were still summoning. Whew! That guy was on my side. What is a common doing at this stage of the run? Commons be gone. We're in Act 3, Part 2. Like, they should not be showing up. Hot take. Now we're barely over the threshold. At least we get to upgrade our... Uh, our guy to legendary here one thing i can't really complain about on this run so far at least compared to uh the amount of doors we're going in and there's another instance of it happening but um uh we're getting a lot of bone shards for a low roll door count on this so like at least i can upgrade my skulls to legendary very easily and rockstar is such a non-swap friendly skull you place down one of his amps and swap to uh, your partner skull and they just stop working. Yeah, thanks for dealing five damage to me uh, due to revenge, loser. Now our damage percent's looking kind of low. I'd like to get it up. Might die on purpose to come marry here. To break my voodoo. We'll see. Because, uh, pretty important to do that. I think we're gonna be here a while. My damage isn't as good as... I it's, like, pretty bad at this stage of the run. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't want my Rockstar to pop off yet. Good job, Seed Shot. Even though it's kind of on me for facing the wrong direction, but still. I'm not taking responsibility. Well done, as always, Seed Shot. Exactly. Like, if there's one enemy that Seed Shot can deal with, it's Chimera. She's a big target. 
Oh, okay. Maybe I'm going to die against Chimera anyway. Yeah, we might be seeing two ults here, which is really bad. Oh yeah, she's unstoppable. No doy. I say as I use my fucking Medusa. Who else but Haxa, man? Maybe not two ults, but this run definitely needs some help. Wait, why didn't she get stunned? She definitely went unstoppable there. Oh no, the second jump. Okay, no, we're getting her. But yeah, this run is so far very bad in the damage department. It's partly, I would imagine, because I haven't been taking dark abilities. Also because of these dreadful rewards, man. These are awful. We can't even arachno scale, leaving this, uh. Leaving this. Like. Okay, Shyness is. Something. Is this go getter? Go getter. Go getter. Even that's enough for go getter. But like, I'd really, really like some, uh, some, some like damage increase from a curse. This is going to be a bit of a toughie for Act Four. We're going to be feeling the hurt. What we have going for us, though, is the power of revenge to keep me alive. Let's hope it goes well. I'd be wary of executioners and demon hunters. We do have a lot of stun, though. Be really nice if a uh oh a billy swapper <laughs> there she is now you have one job here ma'am one job get rid of seed shot that's it that's all i care about thank you even though ugh, man i want my multi-shot this is good with brawl Now we probably won't witness exposure. How'd that miss? Beautiful. This is one instance where it's like seed shot would be kind of dope. An omen, you say? Brawl omen? Not a bad omen. Man, I got some straight garbage on this run. I don't know if this is smart, but I'm going to do it. We got to get our damage up. We do have a balanced skull. We're not really doing ability spam items, though. We need dizziness. More than anything else, we need some, some decent dizziness. Man, what is the... What the fuck is this shit? Come on. Ugh. Let's buy Brawl. If anything, this might end up becoming a Brawl run. I've been thinking about pivoting for a little bit. I'm actually going to take an item room here. Don't make me regret it. Oh, he's a plate armor. Disgusting. Stunned into oblivion. He didn't even get to turn into a tentacle.
Oh, it. Wow, that the black hole actually saved him there. I wonder why that's the brawl item. I, I never really understood. Like, why is this called brawl? Or why does this have brawl inscription? What is it? Where's the tie in with brawl at all? It's just like. It's basically its own item that just has brawl on it. It's not a bad item. It's actually a pretty good item. Then I'm offered the execute omen. Definitely not going omen 2 on this run. That would be almost disaster for sure. It's also starting to look less likely for a fulgent dawn. I'm going to hold on to the fulgent dawn copium for a little bit though. Because fulgent dawn would go pretty hard here. Also, still wouldn't be a bad dizziness for a run if I can just get the right dizziness item. Aftershocks would be pretty nice because that even has Brawl on it. Then I can take Brawl off the pedestal. But I think I would still go, um, if I were going to do a enhanced inscription on this run, it would still be Brawl enhanced at this stage. I really think dizziness enhanced is only truly good if you have um, Armor of Fear. It's not bad otherwise, because the extra duration is nice, but you don't need it. And she's also a sight for sore eyes, because we did skip that skull room. And ended up getting nothing for it, so that sucks. We're going to be pretty low on the bone shards at the end of this. Come on, die. <laughs> oh, man. As low damage percent as this is, we're dealing with Act 4 pretty well. But this would be a disastrous damage percent to head into the endgame gauntlet with. The main thing I have going for me for the endgame gauntlet is Brawl Enhanced. And also an easy adventure is nice to see. Though she might be a bit of a pain in the ass. And also, whenever I talk shit about adventurers, they end up doing something horrible to me, so I should learn my lesson for once and, uh, shut the fuck up. Like there. I swapped at the worst possible time. Very nice to trap her. Oh, uh, the passive didn't work there. It's up, I think. Took the full brunt of that. She must be unstoppable here. Oh, she's staying down here with me. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, man, stay a while. Nothing wrong with a little friendly company. At least we also get to hear the uh, more of the uh, song there. It's a bit of a banger. Davy Jones, you're also a Cypher Soros. I think this is an emergency situation where I might have to scale this shrine. I hate this. <laughs> and you really, you know what it is. You guys know what I'm about to say. Why this is happening to me. It's the low rolling of the doors. I'm telling you, it's the worst thing that can happen to a skull run. It really is. There's nothing worse that can happen. And you have no control over this. It's insane. Let's start. Let's go to change.org. So a site that really works. Everyone knows this. Every uh, change.org petition that's ever been signed works. Make a change.org for Southpaw to stop, to get rid of the RNG around door counts. Because, like, what value does that bring to the game? Bubkiss. None. Goose egg. It brings nothing. So, just make it a static amount. Speedrunning becomes more consistent. They'd love that. No more fucking RNG. 
shit's dope. Who's with me? Everyone. Everyone's with me, I think. Probably. Just one of those things that I just, I don't see why they did it. I guess I see why they did it, because, like, it's, it's a roguelite, so randomness equals thumbs up. But not in this case. Okay. Is there a Dark Elite here? Sometimes a Dark Elite is over here. I thought maybe he was still alive and I hadn't even activated him yet. Shop time. Grody. Aftershocks, please. Well, that's Brawl. Could be better than this. But we, we have Brawl on the pedestal. Man, this is a, a <laughs> this is kind of a disaster. Oh boy. I don't know. I'm saving my money. Good lord, man. What a fucked up day. Skull giveth and taketh. And this time, it's taketh and hard, man. It's like, in this giveth and taketh economy, you're supposed to at least give a little. I'd say the, saving, the true saving grace we have is how defensive this run is. That did so much damage to me. And also the omen is kind of fucking up my defense. We already saw the halfling, so we're completely on our own with this. It does make sense for me to max HP is the last thing I think I needed. Too late for evil sword. It's not even that good here. Oh, you're a fucking plate armor. I hate plate armor. All right. Hero uh, and dark hero are going to be a nightmare. I'm very much dreading them. Not today. Oh, and Medusa with the... Um... Oh, we're not out yet. I was almost certain that would be Joan. Also, Slime could maybe make a difference here. Glad we saw the Slime. The remaining one would have been very nice to see. Alright. Is there anything here I don't want duped? Oh, the solar sword would be excellent. The omen is like a... A complete flop of a dupe. But I also kind of need it, so I'm just going to keep it. All right, here goes nothing. That's a good one. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. I don't. I think they both break at the same time. So it's like, it doesn't work the way you'd like it to where it gives you an extra life, but like when I die, they're both gonna break at the exact same time and heal me for, uh, for 80. So, unfortunate that it doesn't work the way you'd really want it to work, but it's also 120 damage percent, so. Almost certainly need to break that. But though, I actually, here's the thing. I might genuinely break it, like, for real, you know, like, in a sense where I, I need it, so. 
I don't think I'm going to lose it on purpose here. Okay, this is going to be a horrible portion of... Like, this might be the hardest fight we have until... Uh, <laughs> until the Dark Hero, <laughs> who I also foresee as being really, really bad. So, um, I just think there's bad times ahead no matter what. Very spooky things happening. This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, though, honestly. I thought that would have gone a lot worse. But it's not over yet, so... Yeah, I think we're fine. I, 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 it's a long and annoying and tedious fight, but I don't think she stands much of a chance at actually killing me here. I'm saving my band for actual drone, which is why I swapped there. All right, we're at it. Pretty long and pretty tedious, but uh, we're fine. This might be bad though. Like, I don't know. I, <laughs> I just think we're gonna have a bad time. I should just, yeah, I, I think it's all gonna be pretty bad, honestly. If I'm keeping it a buck. Across the board, we're just in for it. Oh. Oh no, we do have it. Okay. Ah, you motherfucker. Oh, she's over there. I didn't see her. Okay, we got the revenge back. Okay, we got through the ultimate. Uh, ult, so that's nice. We're pretty much the worst of the fight. I think we're gonna get out of here just fine. Aw, oh, man. Fuck. Nice. Beautiful. Kind of. Well, eh, beautiful's a word. That's a pretty intense word. Um, what is this fucking garbage? It's all trash. <laughs> Oops, all trash. That's what this run is. Oops, all garbage. What are these curses, man? For the love of God. <sighs> Might take relapse. No, I'm taking this. We need some damage. That'll help. My only shrine. This is such a rare sight. You never see this from me. Where my only shrine that's built is the fucking damage shrine. What a disaster. Fucking low rolling your doors, everybody. Give it up for low rolling your fucking doors. It's ridiculous. I guess we have a decent amount of money for this shop, but like it's the Act 5 shop, so... It, actually, I take it back. This is a shit amount of money for Act 5 shop because everything costs a bajillion dollars. Let's fix this pedestal to be... <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if I can can't get a Disney's item here. Ooh, okay. Magic Beads of Darkness. Excellent. Last second pickup. Do we have Execute? We do. Um, Sun and Moon Ghost. Oh, but I need to buy food here. Do I need this news for? Yes. Call me crazy. I'm going in. I'm going in. Oh, boy. Alrighty, then. Good luck to me, man. I've set myself up here for disaster. 
However, also potentially set us up for a victory. Extremely low damage percent for uh, for the in-game gauntlet. I don't like this. I have to play very skillfully, so I think I'm going to concentrate pretty hard. We do have revenge going for us, though, so it's not all bad. Revenge is obviously very helpful in situations like this. It's all a matter of just doing the right things moving forward. Here's hoping. Good luck to me. All right. Cooey. Okay. Just got to do a lot of stunning. Which, thankfully, we have a lot of access to stun. Oh no, give me my give me my HP. Yeah, my my skill cooldown is like immense. It's horrible. Oh, he got stunned. What hit him there? Was it the amp that stunned him? That's pretty funny. Okay, I'd like to stun him in this so he gets hit by it. Yeah. Just don't get grabbed by him. Very important. Because getting grabbed would do a lot of damage to me. Oh, you fucker. Man, what an absolute fucker. All right, that went better than I thought it would. We're not doing, like we're gonna have to go through so many dark hero attacks here. One good thing is we can insta destroy the meatball because we have so much stun, like the meatball's not gonna live for long at all. My goal in this fight is to get out of here with my, um, I'd really like to keep my, uh, my uh, voodoo dolls intact. Cause I think we're gonna need them for dark skull. How'd that hit me? Ah, oh, he's unstoppable. So we weren't do able to do enough to him here to send him immediately in the phase two. So we have to capitalize on this in a way where we deal like a lot of damage to him to make up for that while he's still here. Oh, he's still here. Oh, wait, I... Oh, he's... Okay, he's in phase two, but he didn't do the roar. He's gonna, um... He's going to siphon. Yeah. Now he might do the phase one roar. I think it's because I stun him. Stun can fuck up his uh, AI. Yeah, he is doing the phase one roar. Gotta be careful swapping there. Uh, he might immediately go into phase three here. Not quite. He might be in phase three. No, he's not in phase three. Oh, no. Okay. It's fine, question mark. Yeah, here comes the roar. Why not? Oh, no. Okay, I have Climax, so we can instantly destroy the meatball if it spawns right now. And it has a pretty high chance of spawning right now, I think. No, he's unstoppable. Okay, if the meatball shows up now, I'm a little screwed. There it is. Okay, beautiful. Touch and go, but we did it. Kept our, uh, our important stuff. We can still win this. We're also about to get a big power boost with Brawl Enhanced and or Stun Enhanced. I'm probably taking Brawl. 
because uh, stun enhanced only in extends the stun duration a little bit, which is not bad because it gives you more time to amplify your damage. But we don't need it. I'd rather have uh, slow on enemies, even though slow can fuck you up in a major way. Like, slow is both a blessing and a curse. If you know what you're doing with slow, which I kind of do, um, it's really, really good. But if you're curious what Brawl Enhance does, enemies hit by the enhanced wave are slowed down and damage dealt to them is amplified by 30% for 1.5 seconds. It's enormously powerful. It's probably... Next to, like, obvious choices like Treasure Enhanced, this is, like, one of, among the top best enhanced inscriptions. It's just a powerhouse. Especially if you're able to deal rapid DPS, which we are very capable of. Also, it seems to... Oh, dude, it seems to combine very well with, uh, with stun. Cheater. Get stuns. We're doing we're, we're capitalizing on this pretty well. I really don't want to slow him down here, so just avoid dealing damage to him. Throws off the rhythm of like dodging the bone shards. Oh, we can't stun him here, so. Oh, he's not going into his ultimate? Interesting. I think it's just because we slowed him down so much. But, like, under normal circumstances, he would have already done the jump attack. Because we've been in this fight for a while. He might be about to do it. No, he still isn't. What? Okay, there it is. Oh, he threw himself right at me. Oh, yeah. Unstoppable. I know better. I don't know why I always fucking do that shit. Man, that went so fucking well. I might have to die on purpose against Dark Skull here. Like, we're... <laughs> what? Brawl Enhanced is so good. On this dog at water run. Just dog ass, bro. This runs straight dog doo-doo. And yet, here I am. Just obliterating Dark Skull. It's, I think Stun and uh, Brawl Enhanced combined is like extremely, extremely potent. It's kind of hard to see what's going on behind it all right now. I guess that's the major potential flaw here. Okay, it's about to punch. Even though I got punched anyways. Let's do a nice charge move. Now just don't do the spooky move, man. Go into the easy one. Oh, he's not even at the move yet. This really throws off my flow. Okay, it's not a bad thing that I'm taking damage here. Okay, he did the easy move. I do unironically want to um, to proc these voodoo dolls before we get to Alexander, so I don't mind taking a bunch of damage against power form. Definitely don't want to get hit by that, though. Come over here. Stop hiding like a coward. Stay here. If you wouldn't mind, hold still. Yeah, stay there, stay there. Ooh, he really beat the fuck out of me there. That's actually not good. That's like not what I want to happen. Taking damage is fine, but I, I just want to keep my uh, reassembly basically.
this is where uh brawl enhance can fuck you a little bit because like my flow is extremely thrown off right now okay i might have to let him kill me here in a second because it's looking like there's a decent chance we can um kill him before the giga ult Yeah. But I also don't want to... I, I don't know. It's a bit of a tightrope I'm walking right now. Okay, wait. No, no, leave him alone. No! <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I think I'm going into that fucking windscreen with two torn voodoo dolls. only 35 percent we only have the one that's the that's the crazy thing about like the rib of horror is the stats it gives are so low this only starts being decent if you have two um multi status runs which aren't impossible to build these days but they're certainly not that great um compared to just the envious tibia which is 50 percent amplification across the board and it's really easy to get and it's kind of crazy and stupid and powerful envious tibia is like stupidly powerful and i don't know why the devs made it they're like here's a bunch of random bullshit with like weird amplification with a bunch of like kind of hard to get uh like or, or hard to produce results like you gotta use your skill x amount of times before you get this and it's like just walk a little bit just take a, a friendly stroll and you get 50 percent amp it lets your items crit too which is unimaginable fucking uh of value and all you gotta do is take a friendly stroll around the neighborhood that's all you gotta do just walk around a little bit no biggie N N envious Div tibia does need a nerf if they nerf it in 1.9 i will literally just like i'll be a little sad because it's like oh my toy but like <laughs> i just it's it's stupid <laughs> All right, Alexander, I forgot to kill myself against Dark Skulls, so yeah, my stats. Normally, I'm all about the min-max here, but since we can just trap him on the ground, it's like, eh. I can just stun his ass. Thanks for the heal, bozo. Oh, no, I didn't mean to swap there. I wasted that then. I can't even tell what part of the of the fight he's in. Oh, the music started over. <laughs> oh yeah, it's because of Rockstar. Man, you didn't even make it to the chorus. Pathetic. So this run, man, this just shows the power of stun, honestly, straight up. Or brawl, actually, probably brawl. More than stun, but both together. But like. This run blows donkey ass, and yet here we are at this current position I find myself in, where I'm like obliterating his ass with this dog water zero damage percent run. Literally got no items. All I needed was brawl enhanced. The second I got the brawl clone stamp, it's like. Actually, oh. I'm kind of okay. Yeah, let me get my concentration mask on because I'm kind of being a bit of a bozo right now. Uh, we're at the point in the fight where normally I. Oh, yeah, he's rifting. Okay. What is happening? Oh, it's slowness. Pretty dangerous rift there. Like I said, slowness is incredible. And uh, Brawl Enhanced is one of the strongest enhanced inscriptions, if not the strongest. But it's a it's like, it can also really, really fuck you up. Um, you have to know how to use it properly. It's easier said than done, frankly. Like, I don't mind losing my life here though because like I need to activate the um, the voodoo dolls
Wait. Oh, he did get the heals. Okay. Didn't matter, though. Is it just me, or does Climax have way too low of a cooldown for how powerful of an effect it is? Okay, he's popping off with the, uh... He's supposed to be popping off with the, the rings. What happened there? <laughs> I don't know, man. What the hell was this run? It's such a dog water run, man. Just brawl, bro. Just, you want to win, bring brawl enhanced. What can I tell you? Combine it with stun so your enemy's literally stuck there for 8,000 years and they can't move. Easy victory, bro. Pro tip. Like, look how bad my damage is. <laughs> I'm barely hitting. I'm hitting him for like a... It's like death by a trillion paper cuts. I, I've said that before, but I've never meant it more than I do right now. No, my voodoo dolls. Wait, what happened to this? Oh, it does work that way now. I'm almost certain in the past it didn't work that way. Maybe they changed it. That's actually cool as fuck. I've never seen them to get uh, these two things next to each other like this. Wow. Okay. Fuck, dude. I mean, that's actually a good thing. Like, hell yeah, I'm wrong. <laughs> Hell's yeah, bro. Never been more proud to be wrong in my life. I don't think that worked. I'm gonna give it one more. I want to get him like really high up in the air. Okay. I think that was enough. I certainly hope it was. No, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it. GG's. Man, I don't even know what to say about this run. What a fucked up weird run. <laughs> we had a lot of amplification. You know what? That might have something to do with it, because, like, shyness mixed with um, the amplification from stun and also the amplification from the... Uh, Oh, wait, there's another source of amp. I can't. Why can't I think of it? Amp, stun, and something else. Brawl, 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 brawl. There. Yeah, brawl with its 35, amp with its 50, and shyness with its 50. That's 135% amplification, like, most of the time, because we had such consistent stun that, like, most of the time we were, we had the full amp. So, I think that probably, but it's also amping extremely low damage percent. So. Max damage 7,478 is very interesting. Probably from the Brawl Omen, I would imagine. I think that's really the only thing we have that could deal a big hit like that. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm shocked that this run performed as well as it did. I don't know if you guys could tell. Um, this run was just awful in so many ways, but like it ended up working. Just imagine if we had even slightly decent damage on this build, by the way. Just imagine a world where that happened. God, we would have... Oh my god, dude. Holy mother of god, Brawl Enhanced is so powerful. It deals so much damage. Um. Also, I think this might be the last... No, 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 no. Okay, no, there's two more videos I'm releasing in the one point eight cycle and then uh, i'm gonna do a friday video this week because obviously uh um the 1.9 update comes out on a thursday and normally i don't record on thursdays but you know it's a special week so i'm going to um very excited for the new skull as well as whatever they add with that i'm not even gonna lie i'm more excited for the balance changes than i am for the uh, new skull which is almost always how i feel because i love balance changes I really, really hope they uh, do something about um, Soldier, or Officer. I always call him Soldier. Good Lord. But that's, like, the main thing I want to see. Also, King Arthur. I think both of those guys need some help. And then there's, like, Skulls that are in my Copium department, which I hope they change, even though I know they won't. Like, uh, really would like to see some changes for Champion. Not going to happen, because they keep changing him in the wrong ways. They don't fix him the way he needs to be fixed. And I don't think they're going to randomly... I don't know. Maybe they could. I just don't know. I don't have faith. It sucks, but I don't have faith. We'll see what happens. 
Um, I don't believe they'll do it, but maybe they will. Uh, just lower his energy cost, give him passive energy generation that isn't directly attached to his uh, parry dash or his punches. He needs swap generation of energy and uh, probably a little more punch generation as well. They also need to fix little things with him that are very annoying, like uh, like Rapidity 4 with its combos doesn't gain energy for him, even though they're basic attacks and they should. Um, his uh, his ultimate, his like down plus attack does not cool down when he's when you swap out to another skull. Um, same with Rockstar, by the way. His uh, Rockstar passive doesn't cool down when you swap to other skulls either. It's inconsistent because like, I'm almost certain Mages does when he swaps out and you're out as another skull. So it's like different skulls have different rules and it's very stupid and annoying. So that's like another thing I'd like to see changed. There's a lot of things I'd like to see changed and I really hope they uh, fix Champion. <laughs> please fix Champion, please. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say for this episode. I'm shocked it went as well as it did. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.